Let's plot the transfer characteristic of an in-channel enhancement MOSFET. This will be a plot of the drain current as a function of gate source voltage when the device is constrained to operate in saturation mode. Let's take a look at a representative MOSFET device. This is the 2N7000. I'll begin by enabling the display of the virtual components toolbar. That's how you do it if it's not already visible in your setup. I'll place this DC source and name it VGS. Now to make things easier later on, I'm going to place a measurement probe. I'll name this I sub D for our drain current, making it easier to find later on. In the little display box, I'll just enable current only and set its precision to four digits. Now this connection between gate and drain will constrain operation to saturation region. And then I'll complete the construction of the circuit. Let me first give this a nominal value of 5 volts and just see what we have so far. Looks like I need a little bit more visibility for the units to show up. There we go. Pretty considerable amperage. Probably we'd be operating it at lower values than 5 volts. Let's see what happens at 1. Now in this case we've got this minuscule current in the picoamp area. So that must be less than the threshold voltage. Now again, we want to plot the drain current as a function of gate source voltage. I'll do this with a DC sweep. Let's run the gate source voltage between 0 and 4 volts. And I'll do this with a step size of a tenth of a volt. For output, Scan through the list and pick the drain current. All right, this looks pretty good. We see an area below cutoff where the current is zero. Somewhere around this threshold voltage, we start to get the parabolic shape when it's in the active region. You can use the cursors to take a little bit more detailed measurements in this area. So from this breakpoint here, I estimate the threshold voltage as 2.24 volts.